So this is a picture of some flowers, as you can all see. I'm not sure what makes they are, but I know there's a lily in the background and there's a few other nice pictures here. And it's one of these things that when you look at a, a picture, you get a, a little bit of an idea of what you want to do with it. And I thought this would look really good with an oil painting style finish to it. So that's what we stand it off, start, stand it off. Starting off with is this picture here and the finish point I want to be an oil painting effect. And I've actually got a particular sort of filter in mind for this. If you go to the filter gallery, if you drop down, you have got browse filters online. This takes you off to the Adobe website. I will also put a link at the end of this website. It's Pixel Bender. That's what we're after. And it's the Pixel Bender Gallery. Now, when we click on this, it's telling us the image dimensions exceed the hardware capabilities of your GPU. Now you're all feeling sorry for me that my computer can't cope with this small bunch of flowers. <laughs> Just taking a look though, you'll see that the file size is actually 34.9 megabytes in size. That's with one layer. And the first thing we need to do is use Command J or Control J to duplicate that layer. But let's go to image because don't forget we've just been told off for having a picture that's too big. We're going to go to image size. We're going to drop down to that. You'll notice the resolution there is 240. You can change this. This is what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop this down because I'm going to be using this for the internet for web use. You might just want to sort of leave that as it is and change the dimensions here, perhaps to 10 inches or whatever you want to do. But this is where you can change the dimensions. As I said, I'm just going to drop that down to 72 pixels per inch. You can see it was 34.9. So this was correct down the bottom here. It's now going to be 3.14 megabytes in size. So that shouldn't cause any problem. Right, there it is. Let's zoom in so we can see it full size. OK, go into filter, go into pixel bender, go into the pixel bender gallery. We're first greeted with this one here and you're thinking that looks good. This is the splash circle. You've got a drop down menu. You've got a whole range of uh, different effects that come through here. There's a fish eye, right? There's a hole. You can see there is in fact a hole. You've got a range of sort of kaleidoscope. Yep. You might want to come in and play with these as oil painting. We'll come back to that in just a second. We got that one. We're going to go back to oil painting. This is the one we're after, and when this finally comes through, you can see that's the sort. Oh, they are. We've got a real sort of Van Gogh looking one there. If only I had sunflowers, could have made a small fortune, but never mind. Let's just take a look. We got stylization. Let's just grab hold of stylization, dragging the sliders back and forth, seeing what they do. It's a good idea just to click down the once. You get quite a, a good idea of what they're doing. The cleanness here, just taking the cleanness sort of back and forth just a little bit. Don't be afraid of the sliders. So you get a bit of a clue. The cleanness, if we drop it down, you get more of the lines coming through. If we take the cleanness up, that's where it's coming from. You can see that sort of swirly look there. That's something that I'm after. Looks, yeah, I really like the look of that. So perhaps just taking that up even higher, I think for this particular image, because the swirls are now beginning to come in with the shape of the flowers. That's exactly the sort of effect I'm looking for. Colorization. Let's just try the same with colorization. Uh, yeah, not quite the direction I want to be heading in. So dropping it back a little bit and you can see it's now looking a bit on the flat side. So it's something in the middle. 1.1 there. Let's just take it just a touch or two more. And just bringing that through 1.4. That looks pretty good there. Up a little bit more. Yeah, all right. 1.2. And just using the it does get a bit fiddly. Sometimes <laughs> you find it easier to actually manually put the figures in. I just put in 1.5 there. Let's see what that now that's just a bit on the uh, yeah over the top side. So let's just drop down to 1.2 where we were before. Like that, perhaps just a little bit sort of strong again. So let's just go and take a look at 1.09. Now nope 1.1 it's worth just that there that's beginning to look pretty good you got room for a third digit there so 1.15 and you'll notice it just pops up a little bit more I like the look of that so don't be afraid to put the figures in manually 
that's the sort of thing we're after. The cleanness, I'll perhaps just take a little bit more again. These sliders can be a little bit fiddly. And I, yeah, that's exactly, so we've taken up to the maximum of 15. The uh, brush scale as well, just having a quick play with this, and you can see the way that's affecting it. No, I think that's going a bit in the wrong direction, so just dropping this down again. That's the nice flow we're after. like the look of that. Brush contrast, dropping it down. Default there was one, like it. That's exactly the sort of effect I'm after. You can see that lovely, smooth, swirly look. It will vary on the picture. You know, some of the pictures you're looking for, you're gonna, you want some, some more swirls in there. You're going to want more sort of textures in there, more sort of ridges and effects and things. But uh, for this particular image, I'm just taking it back to where it was. Nope. Before dropping it back down again. That's the sort of clean look I'm looking for this particular sort of subject matter here. Don't forget it will vary. Process on GPU, well seeing as it made such a big fuss about it when we started off. Yes, I'm going to go for this. I'm going to click OK and uh, through it goes. There it is. Job done. Taking a look. That's what we started off with. That's what we've now got. I like this. Right. Next job. What you can do is if you take a look at it and you think, well, yes, I like it, but perhaps I want to go just a little bit more. If you go to filter, you'll notice the top one here is oil painting. Command F, Control F is the shortcut. So using Command F or Control F, it's going to reapply it. In it goes again. And you're thinking, why have I done this? Well, if you now go to edit, you can go to fade oil painting come into the opacity slider, we can begin to take the opacity and just dropping it down little by little. I think that was probably a song title there somewhere. Dropping it down little by little and so that area there looks pretty good. What do you think? Yep. Right. Click OK to that. So we've now blended. We've sort of taken another one and we've blended it in together there. Now you can only apply the edit fade if you haven't touched any other filter, but I like the look of that. Right, next, back over. I want to give this more definition. So what we need to do is we need to duplicate this layer again, layer number one, using Command J or Control J. There it is. And we're going to change the blend mode from normal to overlay. Why have we done that? Because it's going to save us a bit of time. When we go to filter, we're going to go to other we're going to go to high pass. Now normally you would apply the high pass filter and you would then change the sort of the blend mode after you've applied the high pass filter. But doing it this way, you can actually see the effect live on the image. So you might want to take it back and for a little bit. I'm going to go for something in that area like this and you can see the way you can sort of take it you can take it well over the top if you want to depends entirely on the fact the more I'm doing this the more I'm actually liking that right that looks pretty good no I haven't tried it this way before yeah I like that but no I think we're going to go back to some more this sort of style again it just shows how you can actually play with it into that sort of area there if you just click the preview you can see there it is with the overlay so that's the reason why we've actually used this by changing the blend mode first so we can see the finished result. We're going to click OK to that. Through it goes. One other thing I'd like to do with this is if we just go to fit on screen, which is command zero, control zero. I'm not sure I like the top corner here, so we're going to pick up the crop tool, we're going to run it over the image like this, just dropping it down to the bottom like that and taking a look. That looks pretty good. Going to double click to apply it there it is that's the finished image sometimes let's just pop in let's take a look there it is at a hundred percent like the look of that so I said don't forget this is for the web size you do exactly the same for a size you want to sort of print it out at you can still come in you might want to just reduce the opacity of this just a little bit but love the swirling look that that that's got that's a really nice sort of that's the sort of effect that I started off that's what I had in mind you can always click on the background layer or should I say layer one there now using the opacity you can just drop that down and you can still fade it into the background as well so you can reduce the effect down blending it in so it's still fully adjustable. Taking it back up though, that's the sort of effect I'm after. 
job done. Command zero, control zero, back to fit on screen, and there it is. Go on, give it a try. Just switching the effects off. That's what we started off with. There's our pixel bender. Might even be worth renaming that layer. And there it is, just bringing through the detail, and you can see the way that just adds to the image there nicely. Go on, give it a try. Until the next time, happy imaging, and take care.